<clears throat> wow, it's bright. Hey guys. Hi. Please ignore the lighting right now. It is so early. I never film this early in the morning and the sun is blazing through my windows. Like I can't do anything about the lighting right now. I've tried to dim my studio lights, but it looks really awkward. And then I tried to turn them off altogether, but that doesn't work either because it creates like weird shadows. And so this is what we got today. But anyway, guys. Hello! I am currently in my new beauty room. There's still so many things that need to be done. We are not officially done with this room, but all the major furniture is already in here. So I was able to sit down and finally film. Oh, move my camera. I'm able to sit down and finally film in this room. I feel like I haven't posted a video in months. I have been off of social. I have been gone. Just gone. But I'm so excited. The room is coming out so cute, so cozy, so homey. It's opening my creative senses. I feel alive. I feel like I'm coming back. I am really, really happy with everything so far. I can't wait until we add all the finishing touches and you guys see it. I'm going to do a whole video. I can't wait. But right now we're dealing with a very plain, washed out situation. So bear with me. Today's video is going to be my box. Sure, boxing. I found it. Also, my box is a little broken because I tried to close it again. You guys know I opened the box ahead of time so I can see what's in it because I do like to try things on camera with you guys so that is what we are doing today I'm doing it a little late but at least I'm doing it so this is what the box looks like this month the theme is breaking the ice I'm actually gonna zoom you in a bit because I feel like I look less washed out when I'm a little closer <laughs> by the way let me just say what is up with turtleneck crop tops why is that a thing I mean granted I bought it. But what's the point of being super warm and cozy in my neck if my stomach is gonna be exposed and I'm gonna be freezing down there? I don't understand. I thought this shirt was gonna be a little bit longer, like a little longer, but it's very cropped. And it's very cold outside in Miami right now, very cold. Let me tell you how cold it is. 47, 47, that is freezing. I can't handle anything that's under 65, nothing. But anyway, <laughs> let's begin. Sorry, I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever, so I just wanna like, blah, blah, blah. like I said, this is what the box looks like this month. And the first thing in the box is this. This is the Ace Beauty eyeshadow palette, and it retails for $34.99, and it is actually really, really pretty on the inside. I love these kinds of shades. Mm, delicious. I love that it's like a really bright, bold, colorful palette, but it's still wearable at the same time, I feel. I'm gonna do kind of like a berry, purpley, pinky situation on my eyes, and then I'll let you know how these eyeshadows perform. So let's see.
So the eyeshadows blended out really nicely. I really like the colors. At first, I started applying this crimson shade all over my lid, and then I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a little too intense for me today. I'm actually about to leave to go to a meeting, and then after that, I'm gonna go to the hospital to visit Danny's grandma. So I was like, okay, orange and pink, maybe too extreme. So then I covered it with the Aurora shade. And this shade is actually really nice. It's very foiled. You don't need to wet it or anything. All the colors are very pigmented. It works. I like it. Right now I am just curling my latches because we are about to test out a mascara and I actually think I've tried this before I'm pretty sure this is the mascara I hauled a couple months ago from Sephora and I didn't like it and I can't bring that one out to compare it to see if it is the same one because I got rid of it because I I don't I didn't like it um, so we're gonna try this out again this is the grande drama intense thickening mascara with castor oil if I remember correctly I think it wasn't like it wasn't as dramatic as I wanted it to be. This is a full-size mascara of Kels, and this is $25, so let's see. Okay, so it's nice. I don't mind it, but you know what I think it is? I think this formula is just too dry for me. And I don't like wet mascaras. Those drive me crazy as well. But this might be a hair too dry. Um, it's not bad. I mean my lashes look nice. They're very thick. It is very volumizing You know, it does what it claims to do Like I said, the only thing I don't like is that it is a very dry formula and I feel like it's almost too dry Like I like a drier formula, but it needs to have a little bit of something, you know Like especially when it's freshly opened I personally don't like mascaras that are this dry right off the bat because I feel like you won't get to use it that much You know, it'll dry up quickly. Oh my god, my eyes on fire Anyway, let's just breeze past that, and now we can move on to the rest of the box. So the next thing in the box is does. And this is from Wander Beauty. They sell this brand at Sephora. They have a couple things that I like. This is the Trip for Two Blush and Bronzer Duo. Let's see what does looks like. I haven't opened it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna break it. I don't have time to take off that little sticker. Hmm, wait, it's a bronzer? I was gonna say, wait, this is a blush and highlighter. That's a highlight. So this ain't no bronzer. I know that there are people out there who are more fair than I am. I, I, I know that there are. But I'm pretty fair. Like, I'm very white. Like, I look like Casper right now. In what? Who? Who is this gonna bronze? This is a face powder. I can scent my face with this. Did you see that? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's try. Let's try because sometimes Looks can be deceiving. Let's try to bronze the skin with this. Okay, I'm gonna go into Costa Rey. I can't believe I actually see something. It's there. I mean, it, it's barely there, but it's there. I see it. Now, I have to ask. Okay, so typically BoxyCharm puts like universal products in their boxes, obviously. Something that everyone can use. Only people who are fairer than me can wear this bronzer. Because, I mean, it's, it's actually like contouring a bit. It's contouring my face a bit. But you have to sit here and pack it on to get it to show up. And again, you have to be very fair. <laughs> I literally only see this working for NC15, NW15, like around there. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with that bronzer. And mind you, I packed it on. Like I laid it on and I know my lighting is washed out right now. I look a little brighter than usual, but absolutely not. This is not a bronzer. And it's weird because now that I've like used a bunch of it, it's starting to look a little grayish in the pan, right? Very weird. I'm gonna go grab a real bronzer. Okay, fix that kind of. The blush is pretty though. That looks like something I would really, really like. Oh, damn! I left my favorite blush brush on Bertha downstairs, darn it. I'm not going all the way over there. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna pop on a little bit of Bellini. Oh, 
Okay, so this is also a very soft color. Like, it's not a blush that's super, super pink. You would think that's Porter, but it's not. It's his mother. Why is his mom still at your house? I know. I'm gonna give her back, I swear. I just need some time. So like I was saying, this isn't a super pigmented blush, but I actually really, really like that, especially for blush. I like to slowly build on the color just in case I go a little overboard. So in terms of this blush, I like it. Bronzer, I hate it. Blush, I like it. Okay, so that was interesting. This is obviously like a full-size product. I say that every time I got it. I know, I have to stop saying that. But this is um, $36. Like I said, I feel like it would totally work for you if you're super, 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 super fair. But besides that, no man. The next thing in the box is this. This is the Too Faced Diamond Light Diamond Fire Highlighter. And I have used these highlights from Too Faced in the past. And I gotta be honest, I'm not crazy about them. And not because of the formula or anything, but because of the packaging. It's just so tick. I mean, at first when I got them, I'm like, oh my god, how cute, like a diamond and the thing, like, it, it's cute, but it's just like for storage, all of that, it's just a, a little tick, a little too tick. But let's test out the actual color. This is Fancy Pink Diamond, Um, so I'm gonna pop that on. Ah, and honestly, I'm not, I'm not feeling Too Faced at the moment as a brand, and I'm not a big fan of this highlight, like, what is it doing? Not much, like, Okay, barely highlighted me. Thanks. Wow, I am, I'm spicy today, aren't I? Calm down, Kathleen, calm down. So, <laughs> this product is $36, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I feel like for $36, you can get a nicer highlight at Sephora. Like a really intense, amazing highlight at Sephora, because $36, that's expensive. But anyway, moving on. We actually have one more product only, but I can't test it. My lips are so chapped. I can't test it for you guys on camera because it's a sleeping mask. So I have to I have to sleep in it. You know? But this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. And I'm pretty sure I've tried this in the past, but I don't remember how I felt about it. I have tried a few things from Glow Recipe that I really like, and I have tried other things from Glow Recipe that I really hate. I'm gonna try this out tonight, and then maybe I'll let you guys know, like on Instagram or something, I'm not sure. But I do really love their Watermelon Glow Face Mist. It's really good, so we'll see. But it's cool that we got this in the box. I love getting skincare in BoxyCharm. This is... Uh... $22. Oh, I thought it was gonna be more expensive. But what's, oh yeah, this is the little size. I feel like I'm so sporadic in this video. I'm like, hello. Oh. I'm just really excited to be here talking to you guys. But yeah, that's the last product. Really quickly, I'm going to set my face and put on my lip and then we can wrap it up. Oh my God. I was organizing my, <laughs> my room and organizing all my makeup and I found the setting spray and I was like, oh my God, I haven't used that in a hot minute. And I forgot how freaking aggressive the spray is. I have to like hold my hand out here. I have become spoiled with mists these days. These older ones are too much. lip too dark for these eyes like is it is it weird is this combo weird whatever anyway that completes this video guys i added everything up and the overall value is over 150 bucks which is crazy although i feel like there were a couple things in this box that i didn't love i still think it was a pretty good box especially for the value i really like this eyeshadow palette a lot and just this alone is more than the value of the box you know so even though i got a couple fails i still feel like it's a win i have liked other boxes a lot more in the past but i also have hated other boxes more in the past this month wasn't my favorite not gonna lie but i would love to know your opinions and your thoughts i'm sure a lot of you guys have already gotten your boxy charm since i'm uploading this so freaking late in the month but i'd love to know what you got in your box did you love it did you hate it let me know in the comments below let's discuss but yeah guys that completes this video thank you guys so much for watching i love you guys so 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 much please subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next video bye